We currently have our cube with some measures in it. For example, we have internet sales amount and reseller sales amount here to represent our sales to different channels. But what if we want to see the grand total sales? In other words, we want to see the combined values of internet sales amount and reseller sales amount by category or by date or by territory or any of the dimensions that we have in our cube. To do that, we need to add a calculation. Now before we add a calculation, let's take a moment to look at calculations inside Excel. Here we have the same values represented, our internet sales and reseller sales, by category. Notice here that we also have a sales column. The sales column is actually a formula. Calculations inside Analysis Services behave very similarly to formulas inside of Excel. Here in Excel, we have a range of data defined. This range, if you notice in the box here, is named Internet Sales. Similarly, we have a range of data in column C that's been labeled Reseller Sales. Each row where we want to see our total sales value is a simple formula. We use the equal sign, the name of the range, Internet Sales, plus reseller sales. And then it adds together the value from the two cells from that range that are on the same row. So we use the same formula on each row, but we don't get the same value on each row because it's only using the values that appear on the same row. Analysis services works very similarly because our expressions use references to cell values. Let's take a look. 